Samsung S3 Guru here, and I'm going to talk about um, this particular case that I picked up while I'm in Europe here. I'm still in Europe, and I'll be back in the US of A soon. But I wanted to get a case for my phone right away. I do like the phone. Um, obviously, you must like it too, or you be, wouldn't be watching this. But I felt that it was just a little too much, um, uh, too easy for me to drop, so I was very, very concerned. So I went and got a case. There's a couple of variants of this out there. This one happens to be called Fit Case, but they're all pretty much the same. There, it's a it's a covered case. Um, there's felt uh, on the inside and a hard plastic shell, and then a piece of uh, uh, I'm not going to call it leather, but some some sort of another plastic on the outside. Now the store where I got it because and I don't really blame them because they probably had just gotten the phone. They were like, oh yeah, just pop it in, and you're all set. And you know you can do that. Um, but it will pop out because really what you're supposed to do um, is the same with the, the official one. It will, as I said, it will actually pop out. That wasn't in there all that secure. What you're supposed to do is take your original back cover off and substitute this for the back cover. Now it sits all the way in in all the corners and it's fine. And I did drop my phone once, and I was a lot happier that I had this on there because it actually dropped that way. So instead of dropping on the screen, it dropped on this. Uh, it also, for me, gave me a little something extra to, to, to grab onto if I started to, to drop it. And I'm actually finding that I like it a lot nicer when I'm taking a picture. One of the problems I have, because my, my gargantuan, my gargantuan hands... Um, is normally I would hold my phone like this to take a picture and as you can see that's my finger right there covering the hole so now I've had to take this very petite dainty way of trying to hold the phone and take a picture but I find that with the cover now I get I can wrap my fingers around the bottom and hold it now I, now I get something I can hold it I can put my finger on there I don't have to worry about my finger being in the way it's well out of the way and I can take my picture and I find that a lot easier than when I was trying to do this as you can see it's just with my oven mitt size hands there's really no way for me to hold this with two hands and not put my finger over the lens. It's not. A, I don't really think that's a design problem, unless you, of course you put the camera right in the center, which I don't think they're going to do. Um, so again, that's uh, that. So that's the fit case. There'll be more reviews. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I just got confirmation. There's a whole bunch of stuff that they've sent in for me to review. So as soon as the guru gets it, the guru will review it and stick it out there. And remember, aside from this YouTube video, you can go to the Google Play Store and download the official Samsung S3 Guru app, which is going to take all of this information. And I keep refining that. I think we're on like the third or fourth revision. You don't have to download it each time. Just every time you go in, it's going to look new and better. And I've put everything in a nice order so that there'll be a button for reviews and you can quickly find what you're looking for and a button for tutorials and you can quickly find what you're looking for and a button for late and breaking news and that's whatever I find out while I'm on the road. And, um, I was actually by the, the um, Samsung office in Latvia the other day in Riga. Um, if I get some information, I'll just throw it right up there. So start, uh, thanks for stopping by and make sure to download the Samsung S3 Guru official app from the Google Store.